What's up? Put an exotic rabbit fish in my marine aquarium. That's right. Actually, we put some rabbit fish in approximately, I don't know, two weeks ago. Um, so let me introduce you to the fish that we actually put in here a couple weeks back. You guys remember I went to the pet store and uh, asked you guys what fish I should get. Well, I think it's time for you guys to be introduced to the new members of this marine aquarium, a.k.a. The Beast. So, let's get to it. Let me show you what's going on in my aquarium. Um, give you kind of an update on that. Give you an update on um, basically just everything that's happening right now um, in here. Everything is looking great so we have our mr fox face here and we have the magnificent that's right we ended up getting both of these guys for this marine aquarium um they're doing great together they actually kind of hang out together um far as sleeping arrangements and all that now, as you guys may remember, we added a bunch of Mexican turbo snails. Um, yes, things are getting knocked over, as always, with these guys. But, things are doing great, as good as one can expect. Um, as you guys can see, we are our soul. Um, if I can focus in in here, we are algae free. As a matter of fact, you can see um, coralline algae starting to uh, take hold on the rocks here. So, obviously, that's a great sign, right? So, we do have some coralline algae um, as well that is uh, taking over um, the rock work but um, yeah there's no remnants of um, any kind of algae as far as the green hair algae or the turf algae green uh, turf algae so just wanted to share this with you guys what I recommend Mexican turbo snails um, for a marine aquarium, of course I would. Um, I'm not a big fan of them. I mean, they're everywhere, and yes, some things have been bulldozed, knocked over, and I'm fine with that. Um, it's I have took it out three of those big cups full of these guys. Um, there will be another roundup of them as well because they do have to come up out of here um i'm not going to allow them to keep you know bulldozing everything over so right now as you guys can see everything is looking quite wonderful look at these guys these guys are going to get named now this guy he came in skinny he was skinny um at the store and you can see his gut he is eating very well um, I am feeding these guys every day as well but uh, yeah we got to fatten him up that uh, I mean I don't like to see bones but we got to fatten him up he was already skinny you know whatever it is what it is nothing wrong with um, being a little skinny but for my aquarium yeah big guys this is a big guy's aquarium so he's definitely got to get his weight up so as you guys can see we are looking good guys we are really looking good um we're doing awesome can't say much else about it i mean it's just right now it's just time will tell you know what i mean like oh yeah that guy's looking good, eh? Look at this 
Look at this little. What are we going to call him? We're going to call him Peanut. I think we're going to call him Peanut because he's a peanut right now. I don't know. If you guys think I should call call him uh, little, little Junior here, Peanut, that's little Junior. Should I, should I call him Peanut? Let me guys, let me know now in the comment section. I don't know. I'm thinking about Peanut because he is a Peanut. Okay. Torches. Um, elegance is doing really well. Look at this guy. Look at, look at how beautiful that is. Looking really beautiful there. So, yeah, we got that guy's dead. Um, that guy's dead. And uh, I thought one of these were dead. Maybe not. But anyway. So it's just... I guess it's just time for a coiling algae. Um, that got knocked off, and I just found it. And there's tissue still left on it. Don't think it's going to survive, but guess what? Oh, well, it happens. It happens. So we got, look, look at little Peanut. Look at Peanut. <laughs> look at him. He's so small. I think he has a little hard time in the current. You know, there is a lot of flow. Where do you go? Where do you go? Okay, so um, the leopard wrasse here is doing good. The other one is like right down in there. And she doesn't really, yeah, right where these snails are at. Doesn't really, I, 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 I make sure she's there every now and then and then she'll swim somewhere else. I'll take a stick and I start to stare right there and then she pops up. Um, but she had, I mean, it's been weeks. I don't know how she's still alive. I don't know when she's coming out or what. Look at all these guys. They're, they're all coming to greet me this morning. So, sorry about uh, everything, like, far as the camera stuff, but this is just a phone uh, right now. Just want to give you guys a, a quick update. I know you guys are kind of waiting for this. See what's going on with the aquarium, how everything's doing, how everything is uh, turning out. And I don't know, you tell me. You know, like I said, I mean, you, you tell me. Let's see. I mean, look at that. You you tell me. What is, does it look good to you? One of the places I had a frag. And yeah, they killed my frag there, but it happens. Um, you know, you guys tell me. I I don't know. What do you guys think? That's encrusting down over the rock. That's no, not like I said. It's not the best quality of video, but uh, like I said, I'm loving the coiling algae. Um, obviously, it's uh. Good signs, you know, that the tank is really just rocking and rolling into itself. Uh, so, also, real quick, if you guys don't remember, um, I got this tank this month last year. Can you believe that it's already coming up on a year? A year! A year freaking awesome one year has just blew by us I can't believe it I was just like just realized that that it's like are you freaking serious are you serious one year this month is already here time is flying Time is flying, everyone. I, I really can't believe it's actually been one year. Now, um, it's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, I, I you know, I, I felt like I felt like everything is like really dragging, but in all honestly, honesty, it's it's not. It's actually like here. We have corals. We have fish. We have an aquarium that is rocking and rolling already. Now, all we have to do is get 
you know, uh, things really settled. Uh, we are still working on some dialed in stuff. Uh, and what I mean by dialed in, there's uh, some other stuff that I got to do uh, to get this aquarium to start uh, growing really fast. Really fast, big colonies, really fast. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in competition with myself right now. So that's what I plan on doing. Obviously, I'm going to share that journey with you guys for all you out there that want to see how things are going. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the videos when it comes to this aquarium and seeing everything for the first time, how I do things. That's the whole purpose of me going through what I went through with the teardown of the last aquarium to this aquarium to kind of just document and show. Now, with that being said, on this same journey with you guys, I did things different when it comes to the whole rock stuff. But I must say, uh, let's be honest. I, I know most people are not going to drop 150 Mexican turbo snails in an aquarium. But if you want something done and you want it done um, and, and you're really impatient and don't really want to, you know, whatever, without having to really do water changes or anything like that, you drop an army. You drop an army that's going to knock your problems out for you. Green hair algae and turf algae. Put things in motion when it comes to those type of things. Um, we overloaded the system. We did what we came to do, which is to create something, but also show how we can handle those situations uh, naturally. And, you know, things that we... We, you know, could do. We could have done water changes. Um, we can uh, cut back on feeding, which we cut back the feeding. Um, did cutting back the feeding and dropping 150 Mexican turbo snails uh, do the job? Well, of course it did. Um, the feeding cutting back would have just took more time without the Mexican turbo snails to correct that. Maybe also would have water changed. So what I did was just threw 150 Mexican turbo snails in there, which we thought, first off, I wasn't gonna go that many, but uh, obviously my friend thought it would be cool to throw 150 in there. They took it out within three days. Final cleanup, spit and shine was on later on that night to the fourth day. So, uh, not even say three and a half days, let's just put it like that. They took care of it. So. With that being said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. Um, I'm, 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 I'm looking for peanut. What do you guys think? Should, should he be a peanut? Should we? Oh, there he is. There go. Where, where'd he go? Where'd Junior go? He was just here. He disappeared. Oh, there go Junior. He's up there. You can't see him. Junior's right there. So, what do you think? A peanut? Call him peanut. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comment section. With that being said, this video's uh, played out long enough. Let me know. What other things would you like for me to do? What would you like to see uh, happen with this marine aquarium, a.k.a. the beast? What would you like for me to do? What would you like to see? You need to let me know so we can maybe work on some of those things. With that being said, hopefully you guys have a great day. If you like these videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Peace.